Mobile operators today have an immense problem. As anyone with a smartphone who's tried to use it in any major city around the world has experienced, the demand for bandwidth on their networks from the smartphone users is quickly outstripping their supply. And so mobile operators are looking for anything they can find uh, to address this issue. The trouble they have is that when they look at all of the things they can do, uh, whether it's LTE, more spectrum, better backhaul, usage caps, uh, kind of rate limiting in the core of the network, all these things, they all address the problem in a linear fashion. So you can double capacity, perhaps. Uh, the problem with the smartphone traffic is it's continuing to rise exponentially. And in fact, uh, the growth is exceeding anybody's expectations in every market. So what this opens up for companies like Ruckus is, an, is a tremendous opportunity to bring new technology to bear uh, to help these operators address this issue. So what Ruckus is bringing to bear on this problem is a set of technologies that are unprecedented in the marketplace. And it's really all about very high performance Wi-Fi that's designed specifically for this application. Wi-Fi has been a technology that has honestly had its kind of ups and downs in the, in the carrier space. Originally, it was a hotspot technology that mobile carriers were not ever really quite sure how they were going to make money with. So it really hasn't been a, a primary focus across the industry. A few folks have experimented with it. Uh, about a year ago, people started thinking about Wi-Fi for 3G offload, uh, which was essentially a form of applying a Band-Aid to a 3G network. And what we're seeing recently is carriers moving fairly substantially toward a much more strategic role for Wi-Fi that really puts it in a peer relationship with LTE in the long-term planning for their radio networks. And the reason this is the case is because Wi-Fi was designed specifically for relatively low mobility but very high capacity density environments as opposed to LTE and the other licensed cellular technologies which are very good at macro coverage and relatively high mobility. So there's a complementarity between the two technologies uh, that is coming across when you look at again the long-term strategic plans for these mobile carriers. The trick is this is not your father's Wi-Fi. This is not the stuff you can buy off the shelf at your local electronics store and stick in your local dentist's office. This has to be carrier class industrial strength Wi-Fi. So what does this industrial strength Wi-Fi really mean? It's primarily about better radio performance. In our conversations with mobile operators around the world, Every single radio access network engineering team has come back with the key question, what do you guys do about interference? Because they love the idea of Wi-Fi in these urban environments, but they're used to working in the license band where it's really not a concern. So they understand that if you're going to put Wi-Fi in places where you have a lot of smartphone users in these dense urban environments, you're very likely to find other Wi-Fi there. And they don't quite understand how you can put new Wi-Fi in and have it still deliver very good capacity in the face of of all this interference. The answer to this is about smart antennas. And what we have done at Ruckus that is very unique in the industry uh, is package these basic beam forming and adaptive antenna techniques into Wi-Fi gear that is very specifically tuned to this application. And what we can do in an environment where, where we see many, many different access points is effectively ignore them because we're shaping how we're speaking and how we're listening from a radio perspective in that environment to continue to deliver good bandwidth to clients no matter what's happening in the environment around us. In combination with this adaptive antenna technology that delivers superior interference rejection is a whole system of products that allows you to get that radio energy where you need it in these urban environments which are typically challenging coverage applications from a radio perspective. So it's a system level story that goes from end to end all the way from how we're provisioning and authenticating the client back through the radio performance all the way back to core network integration that gives a carrier a complete solution for true industrial strength Wi-Fi integrated seamlessly and cleanly with their 3G network. Ruckus Wi-Fi represents a fundamental advance in the state of mobile networking, and here's how. So 
if you are a subscriber in this kind of environment, it doesn't matter how good of an app you have. If you can't get good radio performance, you can't communicate with the rest of the world with it. So kind of what's the point? What we deliver is rock solid reliability with very high capacity in the most challenging environment day in and day out. So carriers can serve larger numbers of mobile subscribers with higher bandwidth and retain them and go further in terms of offering, offering services that they might not have been able to consider otherwise. We have customer examples of early adopters who are moving to, for instance, uh, take their wireline IPTV offerings and route them to handheld subscribers over these Wi-Fi networks, something they could never consider doing on a 3G network all by itself.